let's get digging. I need the engine, which is on 11. Oh, let's enter 11. I hope it's reset. I reset it. I don't think I did. I think I already dug here. Hmm, that's not too great. Let's get out of here. I need wrong button. Open my map. Yes, I want to exit them because I want to enter them with level 11 reset. Otherwise, I will get nothing that I haven't found already. Yes, and let's enter. Refinery machine to your workshop lineup to start upgrading the quality of your items, tools, and weapons. Nice. Didn't know a machine could do that. Ooh, let's scan. I am most interested in... Hmm. There doesn't seem to be anything here. I just wanted to walk around just to make sure that I've covered all my bases. Uh, where would the door be? I think it's just digging down here. Alright, let's jump in here. I need to get to another room. Because this room obviously has none. Like nothing. We've got some more health points. Over here. Not that I can see. Is there a door here? Oh, there's a door there. Awesome. Here we are. Is there nothing here? Wait, is this just a side room? I didn't realize there was a bomb there. But I also don't think there's anything else but the bomb, which is annoying because I thought I found the exit of this room. Which I obviously didn't. Oh, well, there is... The corner. I think it should be on this wall, unless I'm completely mistaken and that indeed has an exit to somewhere. Uh, there seems to be another one here. Oh, there isn't. I'm finding a lot of things, but not the things I'm needing. Hmm. There we go, nothing there. It seems to be like a bare wall. I mean, I probably have to go in tomorrow again. We reset the level again because this doesn't seem like the kindest level to do the digging. But I think this might be. There it is. Alright, so there is some stuff down here. Hopefully, I can reach it, and hopefully, it's an engine. It wasn't. It was a toolbox. I mean, toolboxes are nice, but not if you're looking for an engine. <laughs> Wait a minute. There should be a couple of hits. Uh, you should be rather close by. Two meters. This should be one hit. Wait, I won't get there. Do I have any food with me? I don't think I have, do I? Oh crap, forgot my food. Oh well. Let's get out of here then. At least we did do some digging. What time is it, by the way? I have a feeling like this day flew by real, real fast. It's only 4.30. And I do have another knowledge point. That is great to see. I just need an engine and a copper pipe, so really I do not need much, I just need an engine. And I'm not gonna buy it because this is probably worth a couple of hundreds, and I certainly do not have a couple of hundreds as of now. Which is fine. It 
don't have to buy anything. I'm a builder. A builder who also, by the way, goes room diving and all that kind of stuff. But generally speaking, I'm a builder. There you go. Oh, these are done. Means I can get some monies. Uh, let's put everything away. Which leaves me with some relics. Uh, this is the Sand Eagle piece 4 and 5. I don't think. No, I don't have them yet. Alright, uh, probably at some point. One thing I didn't do in Borcha, I think, is I did not sort by room. So at some point I had everything from every hazardous and dangerous rune inside a set of boxes. Like, I think I had five or six relic boxes at some point, which isn't smart. Oh, of course I got a fireside meeting in like an hour. So one thing I've learned is to actually sort by rune. Hey! Uh, there you go. Brilliant, but that's what I expect coming from someone as yourself. Please take this for the Thank you. Let's see how our relations are going. I mean, almost at one heart from all of you, so... I'm sorry. Elsie's getting better. Ah, so we got some quality content, which is low, very low. It's fine. It's fine, it's still early access game. Okay, but we did have a knowledge point, which I... Ooh, it's in Gathering. So this is from scavenging. And this is from mining. So let's take that one. Ooh. Extra power stones. Gems. Extra nighter and extra data disks. These are pretty okay. Not great, but pretty okay. How much do I have? I do have some time, but not a lot, so... Uh, what am I going to do? No, let's just leave the horse here. And talk to some people. Hey a dance-off? See ya. What's a dance-off is about? Howdy. Hey, see you around. Uh, is Howdy. there a event I'm not quite sure about? I am confused. Hey there, take her easy. Hey there. Come on, partner. Hey there. <laughs> Run out of food, so let's have a food drive, but also make it a dance battle. Okay. Did I miss something this morning in my letter box? I look at my meal fire here. I don't think I can. And book missions? No, no idea. No clue. Oh well, I'm missing something very important apparently about Denzov. Huh? Because it seems to be the topic we're talking about. See ya. And I'm unsure Howdy, what it on is. On behalf of the Church of the Light, I thank you and Mion for your dedication to Telesis. Everything you two did looks great. And I might add that my strolls around the Oasis are much more pleasant now. The spruced up old barrier looks so... Fancy! Fancy? Fancy? No? Mion laughed at that. I mean, she's the queen of bed jokes as well, well so. thanks again. For the dance off, so I got the minister and Owen came up with this food dri drive idea as well. Ah, uh, I think I just missed later. something in the mill. Howdy. Hunting Zimmer, fair shout the food drive. Hey, build a random question we should like to eat. Bump. Do you see it, yeah. food with me? Let's run back home real fast because I have a feeling I had to take food with me. Crap, 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 crap. I mean, I'm so glad I have my horse still. Uh, 
rats. Um, no, I want the one from the church. The tumbleweed. He got president. Huh. We're going to release it. It's pretty great. Three storage. Do not panic. Okay. It's the same one. Found a counselor. Red advice. Um, I'm not quite sure to what is happening. Um, let's go to my food box. This building, building, building. Very close to have some food in here. Um, what do I have enough of? Like salt I do not want to take because it's also a building material. Now let's take some sand berries. Do not know how much I need to bring, but it's something. Come on, Halsey. We have to go back to the fireside meeting. We're probably a little bit late, but there's nothing we have to worry about. Alright. Hey, yeah, I'm on my way. There we are. Simmer down now. Come on, simmer down. We all know the hydrogel crisis is indeed dire. We're all about to starve to death. Yeah, but otherwise, would you starve to you? To life? To the earth? I don't know. No, no, we're not. Calm down, Cooper. Owen came up with a plan, and I think it's as mighty good as any. You should hear him out. Owen? Thank you. <clears throat> Last night, I sat down with Miguel and the minister and did a rough inventory estimation of all the food we have in stock in and around Sandrock. It turns out we actually have enough food, uh, probably, to last for a bit, but it's unevenly distributed. Get to the point, man. We ain't got all day. <laughs> right. So we'll use my stage for us to do a dance-off, where you need to donate some food to enter. And I have prizes. You lost me there, partner. What the what? I really don't see the reason to dance when we're about to starve to death. I second that their notion. Without the drama. Uh... What Owen meant was since there are some of us who are more fortunate than others when it comes to food security, it is our responsibility to make sure society as a whole perseveres through this difficult trial. Owen has volunteered his stage and time to organize a food drive in the form of a dance-off contest. Anyone can enter by donating some food. The church will help distribute the food to the people that need it. We'll show our adversaries what Sandrock generosity is all about. Plus, it'll give our builders enough time to do their business. That made sense. No, it still doesn't. I could try to track down some of that old world canned food you see in the ruins sometime. I could do some extra cooking. Meat. Uh, better not to make people's lives any worse. My gum is just crazy enough to work. All right, minister, you'll have your food drive. We'll be seeing y'all at the dance off. Be there, or be square. And by square, I mean. Yes, yes, it's wonderful to have you on board, dear Cooper. Now, what about the rest of y'all? Can I count on the good people of Sandrock to come together and make the first ever Sandrock dance-off and food drive a resounding success? Splendid. I'll be sending out more details via the mail. And with that, I hereby declare this here fireside meeting to be adjourned. Conserve water. <sighs> See? What I meant by square was not necessarily the four-sided figure we've all come to know and love, so on and so forth, etc, etc. Yeah, I, I get it. It's just I do not get the food drive. I mean, maybe it's just like that I do not understand small communities like this as much. But say this would be a bigger city. 
in which like many of us grew up. Like you do not like you know your neighbors and maybe the neighbors of your neighbors, but like you don't know many other people, which I totally get is different in like these small towns. But for any other town, would it really work just to say, hey, if you got a lot of food, join our dance competition, which you have to deliver some food in order to enter. If there's a food crisis going on. Do you seriously think that people will offer up their food? Oh crap. Do you seriously think people would offer up their food in order for dance and to give it to others? I mean, good Samaritans, yes, I suppose. I suppose they do. But the majority? I'm not quite sure. But then again, that's me maybe not knowing smaller communities. I totally get it if you know everyone, you want no one to starve. H how big is this town? Like, IRL, maybe 300 people? Like, we play with, I think, like 40 people, maybe 40 NPCs, but like, IRL, may may maybe 300, 400, and I totally get that you want to share your food and your resources. But, yeah. Might just be me. Alright, let's have a quick look. I need to make some rubber tubes. Which I do not know whether I know how to make them. I might have to make them in the grinder. And I do need the recipe from the common skills, which is not so great. Uh, I have five, need eight, craft three, which is fine. Uh, I don't think the common skill is open. I can check though, it's only seven o'clock. But yeah. I don't know about dance. Of course I'm going to... Horse. Can you... Return to your stables. I hope you're going... I you going back home. Never mind. That's great. So yeah. But alright. A dance-off. Gonna be something like... I don't know. Sounds fun. Have a tube. Oh. Luck. Thank goodness, it's only like 45 goals. It would be a bit unfortunate if it was more, much more. But we're good. We're good. Let's go home and make some of those tubing. Just to set up for tomorrow, and then tomorrow we'll go some do some rune diving. And just see whether we can finish up the all good situation before it even really got a problem. Alright, I need six. There we go. Everyone, everything is doing fine. I think it is. So that means we finally have some time to go to bed. I think it is one of the latest times we've gone to bed since arriving here at Sandrock. Like, almost eight o'clock. Well, everyone, I hope you enjoyed it ep this episode. If you did, don't forget to like, subscribe and ring that notification bell if you want to be notified every single time I post a new video. I hope you all have an absolutely lovely day and I see you guys all next time.